Hey guys, thanks for joining me for this uh, Theory Crafting Thursday. The topic of this one is maximizing mana regeneration. And mana regeneration is something that's not properly understood by a lot of people, and uh, people may question item choices because they don't actually know the mechanics behind it. So I wanted to theory craft it a little bit for you so you can understand what this formula means and how different variables get affected by different items. Uh, so this regeneration formula is base mana regeneration, which is 0 0.01 for every hero but techies. By 0 0.01, I mean 0 0.01 mana per second, plus 0 0.04 mana regeneration per second per intel that you have. This includes the green intel. So for this particular snapshot, it would be 34. So it's base and your plus intelligence. And this is multiplied by one plus the sum of your percent mana regeneration bonus. This is from items like Sage's Mask, Void Stone, Refresher Orb, has a percent mana based uh, component as well as a intel bonus. But for this term, it's only the percent mana regeneration. And at the very end, you add in the flat mana regeneration of Basilius and Bottle. And something that's very commonly misunderstood is that Sage's Mask and Basilius, although they have the same item, Sage, Sage's Mask in both of them, the way that it contributes to this formula is very, very different. Sage's Mask is going to scale off your intel because this intel is multiplied by this term, but your flat mana regeneration is going to stay constant all game. So this is something that you should be very wary of when you consider your item choices. So an example for LC, just going to do some very basic calculations with this formula that I just gave you. No items LC uh, with 34 intel is going to end up being 1.37 mana regeneration per second. If you add in a sage mask, oh sorry, this is rounded up to 1.4 as you can see in the screenshot. A sage mask LC, uh, you're going to add this 0 0.5 term, multiply this term by 1.5, you're going to get 2.1 total mana regeneration per second. And lastly, a Basilius LC is going to have 1.37 plus the flat mana regeneration of Basilius, which is 0 0.65, to end up at 2.02. .02. So Sage Mask and Basilius give roughly the same to this uh, level 7 LC. And at some point, a Sage Mask is going to outscale on Basilius. Uh, but what is that point? When should you get a Sage Mask or maybe disassemble your Basilius so that you get maximum efficiency from your items? So I'm going to use that formula before and plug in X for Intel to solve for X and then 0 0.5. This is from the Sage's Mask 50% mana regeneration and 0 0.65. This is from the Basilius with your flat mana regeneration. Solve for X. I did the algebra for you guys. X equals 32.25, which means if your intelligence is greater or equal than 33, which is not very high considering the level 7 LC, a strength hero, had that amount of intelligence at level seven, a Sage Mask will outscale on Basilius. So conclusions from that, we can compare Sage's Mask and Basilius to the other mana regeneration items and see which one is best for this particular case. Again, this is a very specific case, a level 11 Zeus, an intelligence hero with no plus intel items. And with that, he has 47 intelligence. All these calculations are based off of that, and it's going to change every level for every single hero. But I had to give an example. So for Sage's Mask, you get 57 average mana per minute at 47 intel. Ring of Basilius is the loser here at 39 mana per minute. And as you go more expensive items, Bottle will give you 105 mana per minute. This is assuming you get a rune every two minutes or you bottle crow and none of them is a regeneration. So again, quite a lot of assumptions here, but this is just to give you a general idea of how the various mana items stack up to each other. Soul Ring, if you use it on cooldown every single time, you get 357 mana per minute. That is incredible value, like twice the price or two and a half times the price of Sage's Mask, but like six or seven times the regeneration, mega value. And then Arcane Boots, most expensive item, only 109 average mana per minute. And there's an asterisk here because if you have five teammates, it's, that number is going to skyrocket up to like 600-ish. Uh, so again, when you think about all these mana items, you have to consider why are you getting these aside from the average mana per minute. Sage's Mask builds up into a Basilius. It also builds up into a 
Yule Scepter or an Orchid. So you may consider keeping on a Sage's Mask early if you need that average mana per minute. Uh, Basilius is very, very good for pushing tower, very inefficient in terms of mana per minute. But if you're there with two other teammates or if you're pushing the tower, it is a very, very effective item. And Bottle, if you don't get any runes, it's not very good. If you can get both runes and you can Bottle Crow this number and you get a regeneration, your mana per minute is going to be so efficient and you won't regret getting a bottle soul ring this is when you have an hp excess and you're not going to be low hp all the time from using it because you don't want to die obviously 357 is really good but usually it's in conjunction with bottle so you can keep your hp topped off when you want to fight and bottle is for when you need the hp as well as a mana regeneration and then arcane boots lastly is for five manning and Again, if you have to Arcane Boots yourself and four other people, this number is going to jump up very, very high to around 600 plus. Uh, so you have to consider each of the uses for uh, each of these items. Don't just consider the average mana regeneration per minute, although it is something that you should think about in your head when you purchase these items. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, learned a little bit more about mana regeneration and why I don't pick up Arcane Boots maybe as often as, let's say, Soul Ring and Bottle. So. Thank you guys. Uh, please join me tomorrow for Friday's episode. And for next week, I will only be releasing videos three to four times a week because it's uh, casting season coming up. So don't be startled if I don't have as much content as before. So thank you guys. See you tomorrow.